All right, guys. So we just pulled the <coughs> pulled the cob off of the 11 horsepower Briggs here for the Gumper, and um, let's see what we got in here. For the float. Dirty carburetor. My goodness. That is one dope. Really, really bad. Rusted out carburetor. Oh, my goodness. How the hell this thing was running at all, I don't know. Wow. Yeah, I think the uh, I think the float was uh, kind of frozen in the open position. What do you think? Hmm. Yeah, that was a pretty good diagnostic. Man alive! I think it's frozen. I can't even move. I can pick it up by the by the float. It's not moving. Look at this. Holy Toledo! Wow. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to rescue this little baby. We'll see. We'll soak it overnight. And, uh, let's see what she does. <laughs> I ain't never seen one not move. It's frozen. Solid. Frozen solid. That is pretty funny. Okay. Well, I think we've uncovered the problem here. Yeah. I believe so. So, that's good. One less thing to worry about. That's good. All right, stay tuned, boys. Move it. All right, guys. Here's an update on the the Gumper. All right, the '86 snapper, '85 snapper. Okay. Seen that carburetor? How terrible it was. All right. We get the key in the on position. Okay, everything is hooked up and working the right way. I didn't put the air filter on yet because I'm still toying a little bit with the adjustments. Okay, but let's see what we got here. Put a little spin around. 